stuff in my bag. This is how you fit stuff in your bag when they don't give you bags in Canada. By the way, you know I can always clean it and I usually clean my bags. Just walking down the street and somebody left a bunch of these foam things out and it's like a mat. So I'm just gonna use it maybe for like working out or something. Um, Cause I could put like a wooden board over them and tap dance. This is what they look like, aside from like the cat or dog hair, it looks like they're in good condition. So I'm just gonna soak these. First I'll spray the top with 50-50 um, vinegar water, um, and then I'll just let it soak for a few minutes, and that will, like vinegar will take out any like bacteria and stuff from sweat and things like that. Let's stitch together. Okay, interesting. These look like they're pretty good. Um, and then these I'm going to just soak in soap and water. And I can take off the sticker now. So it cost 1150. That's a pretty good deal because these are pretty decent. Like I'm sure they'll last me at least until early winter for like light snow, because in Toronto our snow is like pretty light except on like one or a few handful of days where we get like some serious snowstorms and unless I have to be out that day usually avoid it but like if you live close by to like a bus or a subway or something like that then it's not really a big deal but um yeah so like these type of rain boots they have this like stretchy ankle thing so when you put your foot in you just want to make sure that these are not folded in or you're gonna give yourself a blister but they came in my size and they look like they're in pretty good condition they just need a little cleaning so pretty good find so I'm just soaking the boots in a mop bucket and the stuff looks pretty like dry so I'll let it soak for a few hours should be fine like rain boots are easy to clean so the insoles i've sprayed with half and half vinegar water and i'm just letting it soak here you can see it's like wet and then i'll um rinse it and then just soak it in some soap and detergent and then strain it out and wash it so that there's no detergent or vinegar or anything left So I used like that ingredient recipe thing and I just put in like eggs and flour and then it gave me spetzel so that's what I'm making. It's one cup of flour with two eggs and I add a little bit of salt, pepper, rosemary and just a little bit more seasonings. You can season it to taste how you want. So I've just basically like mixed it all in the dough and then I'm just cutting it up into little pieces to make it easier, so I'm just rolling it into a little like fluffy ball, and then I'm throwing it into boiling water. So I have a few pieces here already boiling, let's see how they look. This is my first time making anything like this, I just wanted something a little bit different. But basically that's what they look like. I should add that I also salted the water so that it won't stick and I get a little bit of flavor. So that's what it looks like. I cut one there in the middle so you can see what the inside is like. You can actually, um, using like the base, 
Um, you can turn it into like small little noodles or string noodles or smaller pieces and add it to a soup. Um, but I'm just gonna probably drizzle a little bit of olive oil and eat it that way. Or you can like add a dipping sauce that would probably taste nice. So I'm just gonna eat it like that. So that's what it looks like drizzled with olive oil. It's probably very plain looking, but if you're in a busy mood and you don't have time to cook, just using two, three ingredients. Like I always go to that app or that website that says like, that tells you what you can make and it's good for leftovers and things like that to use. 